This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this uh, 29th day of June, just about to wrap up the month of June, going to be looking at those candles in the monthly chart in a moment for the, in the Tiger Technicians Hour. This is the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network update. Dow's up 154 at 34,007. We've started a leg B. So far, I call it a gray leg B because the tacticals, only the nine period, which is, I have to respect this nine period moving average. Look, it did not turn negative. And it flipped. It looked like it would, but it's now back to strong green, and therefore this is still a very positive uh, daily chart. Look at the S and P; did not flip to negative. Mm -mm. Not acting as well right now. It is up six at forty-three eighty-three, uh, acting very nicely, but not. I mean, it doesn't have this strong leg like the like the Dow at this particular point, but it's still looking very good. QQQ. NDX 100 is trading, and this is also acting quite well. It's down 33 cents at 364.23 as a chart. But as an action over the last couple of days, it isn't quite keeping up. It says there's a little bit of wear and tear there. IWM is a Russell 2000. Lo and behold, it's really strong today. It's up a dollar, uh, $2.40 at 186.70. Looking at that's really good. This is the first time it's starting to show leadership in the weekly chart. That's, that's nice. We're looking at gold down. 14 at 1907, uh, away from that nine period moving average, looking at the dollar, did try to rally earlier on, holding that rally. Okay, it's up 38 ticks at 103.38, getting close to the 200 period moving average. We're looking at the TLT, and this is going to be important, the TLT, which are the bonds down sharply, so yields are going up. Uh, yields, uh, so the 101.76 down $1.87, uh, still within that rectangle formation, going to the lower end. And I just wanted to show you crude oil before we go off to the break and I start my Tiger Technician's Hour. Uh, we got the crude oil up 50 cents at 70.07 in the lower range. So this is going to be a really important session for the close, going into Friday's close for the end of the month. These two days are key, I would say, to what could happen in at least the first few weeks of June. I'll be back in a moment. Say so you check out my opening form, my daily newsletter, has some nice trades. I'll be back in a moment. 